So this is Ash Linux and this is the latest release. So I'm going to be downloading the ISO file and installing it in a desktop computer. These are the mirrors. So I already downloaded the ISO file and I created a bootable USB drive. So I'll select the USB drive to boot up from. So at the login prompt, I'm going to type arch install. So the language, I'm going to leave it as English. The keyboard layout, I'm going to leave it as default. This is the mirrors. I'm going to select a mirror. I'm going to choose the US. This is this configuration. I'll select partitioning. And I'm going to select the default. Use a best effort default partitioning layout. I'll select the hard drive. So on the file system, I'm going to choose BTRFS. I'll select yes. This is this encryption. I'm not going to encrypt the disk. Swap. I'll leave it as default. So on the bootloader, I'm going to leave it as grub, which is the default. This is the host name. I'm going to leave it as Ash Linux. This is the root password. I'll type a root password. I'll create a user account. I'll select add user. I'll type a password. Should John be a super user? I'm going to select yes. Confirm and exit. It's profile. I'll select type. Desktop. I'm going to choose KDE Plasma. I'll select graphics driver. So on the computer that I'm installing Arch Linux in, it has an NVIDIA card and it's an older model. So I'm going to choose NVIDIA proprietary. I'll select Greta. I'm going to leave it as default. This is audio. I'm going to select pipe wire. This is kernels. I'm going to leave it as default Linux. This is network configuration. I'm going to select use network manager. This is additional packages. This is optional repositories. On additional repositories, I'm going to choose multi-lib. I select time zone. I'm on Eastern time. Automatic time sync, it's enabled. And I'm just going to select install. And it says a specified configuration will be applied. Would you like to continue? I'll select yes. So it says you would like to root into the newly created installation and perform post installation configuration. I'm going to leave it as no. So I'm going to reboot the computer. So on the top left, I can choose the session. The default is Wayland. I'm going to log in. So this is the welcome center. So I'll click on the application menu. So this is favorites. This is all applications. This is development. This is internet. This is multimedia. This is system. This is utilities. 
So I'll right click the desktop. I select desktop on wallpaper. These are some of the wallpapers. So on the panel, I'll right click the panel and I'll select add or manage widgets. So these are a list of widgets and you can also search for widgets here. So I'll right click the panel, select show panel configuration. So this is the panel settings and right now the panel is at the bottom. I'll click on position here. And I'll select the left arrow and the panel is on the left. So the panel is on the right. I'm going to leave it at the bottom. I'll increase the height of the panel. So I'll open system settings. So the theme I'm going to change to breeze dark. And these are some of the settings on the left side. They are listed by categories, input and output, connected devices, networking, appearance and style, apps and windows, workspace, security and privacy, language and time, system. So I'm going to enable the cube feature. I'll click on system settings. So on the left side, under appearance and style, I'll select Windows Management. I'll click on Virtual Desktops. Right now, there's only one virtual desktop. I'm just going to add five more. So now there are six. So it shows here on the panel. So I'm going to select Desktop Effects. I'll scroll all the way down until I see Windows Management. So under Windows Management, I'm going to select Q. I'll click Apply. So on the keyboard, I'm going to hold down the Super key and the C key. And this is the cube feature. So I'm going to open the Terminal app. So I'll check if Firefox is installed. So Firefox is not installed. I will install Firefox. So I'll type this command. sudo pacman s and Firefox. So I'll open Firefox. So the version of Firefox is 136.0. So I'll run an update. I'll run this command, sudo pacman syu. I'll open the Dolphin file manager. I'll right click the desktop, create a new folder. So this is the properties of the folder. So 
So I'll open the Kate text editor. I can also change the theme of the text editor. So on the lower right side, this is the time and date. This is status and notifications. This is the network icon. This is the brightness and color icon. And this is the volume icon. So I'll check the kernel version. I'll type uname arm. So the kernel version is 6.13.5. So I'll run this command to install LibreOffice. I'll type sudo pacman s LibreOffice fresh. Okay, so LibreOffice is installed. So I'll open each tab. So this was just a quick overview of the installation of Arch Linux with the KDE desktop environment. So I want to thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.